Hey, Simon here from Rotterdam, and today we're going to take you up on one of our do-it-yourself uh, projects. And we are going to build a sign, because when you are on the market or on a, uh, a congress or anything else uh, where you need to present yourself, it's good to have a nice uh, sign uh, to um, uh, distinguish yourself from uh, all the other participants. And of course you can uh, buy something ready from the store, um, but it's much more fun to build one yourself. So stay tuned for this video where we're going to explain the entire building process. Yes, let's do this. Onward. Okay guys and welcome to this uh, video and before we head out uh, with the, the bandsaw and all the other electrical equipment we need to figure out how to blow up your logo um, so you can uh, use it for this process and when you open it in Word there are some options that you can use uh, A4, A5 uh, but you cannot really uh, blow it up uh, uh, make it bigger and that's what we want to do here so um, we found a little trick when you uh, save it as a PDF so if you choose in your word save as PDF and then open uh, the PDF file then uh, you can see that there are some more options when you want to print this uh, so in this example uh, we just Left, left it the file as is and you can choose poster um, as an option uh, for printing and if you click poster uh, and use the the scale uh, adjust it then you can see uh, the blocks uh, making one a4 page in the example that you see on the the, the right here and every block here is an a4 so you can adjust the size to the size of your sign uh, and then uh, print it and get it out there and then if we uh, spray paint that uh, material uh, you get something uh, that you can stick easily on a board uh, and that's what we did is uh, stick it to a board and then start the sawing process you get the letters like that and you need of course to file them and get the rough edges off um, and that looks uh, a little bit better uh, than it likes this uh, so it, it gets more uh, softened and uh, ready uh, for the next uh, step you can just use uh, this uh, these tools here uh, and they work uh, excellent uh, for this uh, for this process so just cut out the letters uh, and then um, yeah you uh, get a little bit of relief uh, going um, you do need to get the last piece of paper off and I did that with this uh, steam kettle and just by blowing steam over it I could get the letters uh, to be cleaned um, then I spray painted the uh, entire bottom uh, of the project and then I spray painted the mushroom so here um, you can see the mushroom and the letters I also spray painted it and I did that uh, so that the side of it would stay black the top we would give another uh, lay uh, another color but uh, the side would stay black and that gives this nice uh, big relief uh, to it so uh, get your uh, glue uh, your wood glue out make sure uh, the letters are uh, in a straight line and start the gluing process and to make sure it was nice and uh, steadily fixed I also used some small nails uh, to uh, hammer it down so uh, we had two ways of making it stick to it one two ding 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 and ding 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 lots of flots there it is going in and when I was hammering the second nail there was a little spider coming up you can see it on the bottom there it's coming and then it climbs up the nail I had to stop blow it away and continue 
we're not hurting the spider of course um, just putting the nails in uh, a little bit deeper so that we could uh, make a nice clean finishing and of course the glue dries pretty uh, transparent so you don't see it but now all you see is uh, the nails shining out but well, starts to look like a sign so the next step was uh, filling up the holes and uh, we did that with a yeah just a wood hold uh, wood filler i don't know how that's called in english um, and uh, after we filled all these holes i got some help there from my little niece who was staying with me at the time and she gave me some directions to finish this job correctly here you can see how that looks and then we need to uh, of course also make that a little bit smooth again getting some help from the kids always good and nice and uh, yeah it was a little creative weekend that we had there um, and then we were off to the next step and um, starting to paint uh, the thing and uh, by you know you could just play with these colors a little bit but uh, as soon as we put on the white, uh, we saw that uh, uh, the, the, the black on the side really uh, made the whole sign and the, the, the logo and the letters uh, rise up from the board uh, beneath. So this really uh, is getting a cool uh, project uh, uh, at the end. And uh, yeah, you know, when you get the hang of this, uh, you can also do other things uh, besides your logo, like this fireman I did for my uh, little nephew. And uh, he was really happy with that. So maybe you can make somebody happy with this uh, skill, except your colleagues. So I hope you really uh, enjoyed uh, making this uh, sign. Um, if you want uh, to be uh, uh, updated on more do-it-yourself uh, videos uh, like this for uh, both the beginning and the experienced mushroom entrepreneur, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, see you soon.